It's time for New York Comic Con Week. And if that wasn't enough, we were talking to a special guest from Marvel's Luke Cage. It's time with Whip. The, the Big, Big Marvel, Marvel Show! Show! I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Whip, the Big Marvel Show, where we talk about all things Marvel. Yes. Later on this episode, we got Mike Coulter, star of Marvel's Luke Cage. First up, we got to talk to y'all about some New York Comic Con. Say what? Let's take a look at what is to come up this very week. <laughs> What are the three craziest things we could talk about right now? This is the greatest time of the year. It's two-year anniversary. I happen to be sitting at Jessica Jones' desk. Let's go check out what else is happening in the Comics booth. have always been exciting to me. And we are here with the amazing stars of Marvel's Jessica Jones. And we're about to watch an awesome cosplay photo op. The reason why we don't have a clip is because we have the first episode of Jessica Jones. See you guys next time on Marvel Live. Tune in to Marvel Live from New York Comic Con this Thursday through Sunday at marvel.com slash NYCC2016. And you can check out us guys doing awesome interviews with celebrity guests and comic book creators. Yes, live gaming, panels, booth tours, toy reveals, and more. Plus, over at the hub page, marvel.com slash NYCC2016, you can follow along with live blogs of panels as they happen. You can check out photos, you can check out articles, all as that news is breaking. Totally, we got lots of panels for you that you love, plus special ones, too. Yeah, like the Black Panther 50th anniversary panel. Ooh, and the Infinity Gauntlet 25th anniversary panel. Oh, snap, and awesome TV panels like Marvel Television presents Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Ghost Rider. The Netflix original series Marvel's Iron Fist. The world premiere of Marvel's Hulk, where monsters dwell, a new animated feature. Yeah, and FX Networks presents Legion. And if you guys are joining us in person at the con, we'll have cool cosplay. We have costume contests and photo ops, all kinds of awesome stuff. All that stuff, plus merch such as t-shirts, figures, special variants, and then delightful Scotty Young pins. <laughs> I like that it was a little Scottish. A little. For Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> and there are, of course, going to be special signings over at the booth. Yes. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Mike Coulter! Hey! Hey! You guys, welcome to the show. The man himself, Mike Coulter. Ooh. Yeah. I'll, yes. I'll clap for myself, add a little more volume. <laughs> yeah. My There's twin. Only one person behind camera. My twin in pink, rocking the pinkness. Okay. So, everybody is talking about Marvel's Luke Cage. People are freaking out. And of course, Netflix original series have their own sort of distinct vibe for the show. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, you really, as a superhero, I think, have a different kind of story. You're a little bit more reluctant. In this series, what do you think drives Luke? Uh, I think Luke is, I mean, he has a, I want to say he has a sense of morality, but he also has, like, this compelling need to kind of, of do what's right in, in, a, in, in, a, in a bigger sense. Like, the community needs him. He's not trying to solve everybody's problems. But at the same time, that would be time consuming. That would be that's what yeah. I mean. seriously. Right? He doesn't have the time. No. There's a clip that they showed in the last trailer, and he literally turns around before he goes into the convenience store, and he's like, "I don't have time for this." And he doesn't have time for this. He's yeah. got his own problems, so he's like, you know, it's kind of like goes back to the first episode when he tells the shop owner, um, "I got your back," you know, right. "I got your back." But he says in a way, it's like, "I got your back." If you really need me, and you can't find anyone else. <laughs> And there's no one else around. First call these other two numbers, and if they don't respond, <laughs> then I will come. So emergencies only. Emergencies only, yeah. And speaking of emergencies, you guys have some of the coolest fight scenes. Mm -hmm. You're bending car doors. Mm -hmm. You're throwing people against the ceiling. Yeah. What was your favorite sort of fight scene to shoot that you can don't don't spoiler? Mm -hmm. The show will be out, mm -hmm. but don't spoiler too much. You know, I, I think I mean I think it's a combination of some of the stuff they've already seen. I mean, for me. I feel like, I feel like, you know, it's funny, when we threw him up in the ceiling, that mm. was pretty cool, right? Yeah. But originally, <laughs> the first take we did of that was, was Luke taking <laughs> his hand or crowbar and going up between the guy's legs, oh. and, and then he was going to go up that way. <laughs> and they thought that was in poor taste, you know? It was like, it was like, it was like a crotch shot, literally yeah. a crotch shot. Very literal. And so yeah. we thought it was fun, but, you know, it became, <laughs> became more about the, the crotch than the actual action. Right. So... We started to err on the side of caution, and we, and we, we right. simplified it a bit. But yeah, I think you know that just grabbing him and throwing him in, up into the ceiling, just missing him like that. You know, I think yeah. it was. I think that's one of my favorite moves. And then I think also, I think people get a kick out of. I mean, I went in the room. It was this thing where you know I, I go in the room and I have I had a um, pipe that I ripped out of the wall, and so I go in the room and then the director, um, um, 
Guillermo was talking about like, well, we, we got to get the pipe out of your hand because obviously you don't need the pipe. And right. it seems unfair that you have the pipe and blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, no, I get it. So I just tossed the pipe aside and it's like, you know, come on, bring it. And so when <laughs> the guys come in the room, it's just like, you know, it's just like a smack food fest. It's like, you know, left, right, left, right, you know, grabbing people's legs, tossing them around, you know, get the couch, knock them down. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, that was it was. It was just madness, but I think that was that was one of my best moments. That's like my childhood dream, mm -hmm. is to just be like, come at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it on, you know? And no one can hurt you. Yeah, it just came out of the need to, like, you know, just because they were obviously getting their butt kicked, butt, their butt, butts well, kicked obviously. up from, like, beginning. Yeah. But it was like, you know, the moment of, like, how do you get them to come in and get more? It's like, yeah. you know. you, you, you Especially you, after you know. the crowbar. Oh, yeah. It's like, <laughs> Nobody yeah, wants to come yeah, after the crowbar. I'm going to take the crowbar, I'm going to throw that away. Now you guys got a fair shot. Now I'm bringing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we play a quick game with you? Sure. Very quick. Okay. This is what we're can calling. Can I win? You can win. Okay, all right. You're the only one playing, so I promise oh, you'll win. Well, I, I don't know. I'm, it might be the first time a man loses a game by himself. No, never. Okay. okay. Secret superpowers. I'm going to give you a secret superpower, and you're going to say who in the cast or crew you think should have that superpower. Okay. It's real, kind of like world association. Their character or the person? Okay. The all person. Right. Okay. Good old person. Super speed. Mm, the craft service? <laughs> Uh, energy blasts, you know, like uh, energy blasts. Um, the director. Ooh, yeah! Everyone would learn their lines really fast. I bet. Mm -hmm. uh, how about super stretchiness? Super stretchiness. Uh, the makeup department. Then Ooh. they could, then they could stay in their actual department and just kind of like reach all the way oh, to, onto the set. Yeah, they wouldn't have to actually come down anymore. Oh yeah, that'd be so easy for them. Mm -hmm. um, how about what I like to call semi cipher, which means they can just understand like ten percent of any language. Ooh, 10% of any language. Wow, that would come in handy. I'll just say, how about PAs? Ooh, yeah, that they, would be they, good. They would be more, much more, um, you know, um, what's what I'm looking for? They must be, they'd be much more um, like useful in a, in a sense. Like, I mean, you, we have yeah. a lot of people come on set, and sometimes I think they get the raw deal, but if you could speak 10% of every language, I think yeah. people would respect them a little more. Oh, I like yeah. that. I like that. Okay, and the yeah. last one, coffee blast. This is like energy blast, but you can shoot coffee out of your fingertips. Mm, coffee blast. Yeah. Ooh, coffee blast, man. I guess that would be, that would be me. There you go. I'd, I'd be the best guy on set. Like, open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. <laughs> you know? Everyone around you would be super peppy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. espresso, coconut milk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the best. Well, congratulations on the show, and thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Now it's time for Social Hour, where we read your tweets if you hashtag them with Marvel Thwip or your Yubtub comments or maybe even your Fache books. Yes. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Uh, real quick one this week, we've got one from Marissa Nord who says, Agent M, you were the best Captain America stunt double. Aww. Awesome stunt work. Can we please see more of Marvel stunts and Marvel Thwip? Yes. She's also excited for Doctor Strange to come out in theaters. Marissa, you're the best. Aww. And uh, $50 coming to you in the mail, courtesy of our friend Marie. Nope. <laughs> Not a thing that's going to happen, I don't think. We'll see. <laughs> okay, well, you guys, do you have a favorite New York Comic Con moment? And what did you think of Marvel's Luke Cage? Did you watch it? Are you freaking out? Tell us down below or hashtag Marvel Thwip totally. on Twitter. Yeah. I'm Lorraine. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your universe. $50, no. Marissa. You got to pay her. We guaranteed it. It's a contract. <laughs> you say it on YouTube, it's true. No, that don't tell people that. That is not. Don't believe everything on YouTube. Except for this show. But not Ryan. Crap. <laughs> okay. If you guys like the show, please like it and watch our last episode. And also subscribe. Yeah. Or watch those ones down there. They're probably pretty great. Um, Ryan has agreed to pay $50 to whoever watches this video. Table in funny money. Funny money, I mean Lorraine's money. No, my money isn't funny. It, it's, I need it. This is turned. <laughs>